hi this is my blog spot this is our fiction book chapter book think solar system superhero let's start think the solar super the solar system superhero written by megan mcdonald illustrated by peter h reynolds from page Move over very silent, flop, flop, flop. Sting Moody had to take a test, a super science test, a solar system test. He had to learn all the planets by tomorrow. Sting went to find, Sting went to find his big sister. He showed her that Judy was in new mood. If Judy, if Judy was in Moody, Sting hoped it was to help your little brother study for his test mood. There were only there were nine pole planets and Stick only knew about one, the one in the SX Encyclopedia, Saturn. You might even say Stink was a super Saturn expert. Saturn had rings and moons and was made of gas. Hardy, hardy, hard. Saturn, Saturn could float like a nice cube in a giant's bus tub. If you just happen to know any giants. Picture of Saturn. Saturn was could spin so fast it looks it looked at uh, flat as a silver dollar pancake. Stink's fate would fruit on Earth, not Saturn. One year and Saturn spent nine nine and twenty nine years. If Stink was seven on Saturn, then that would make him. 203 years old on Earth, way older than Judy. Picture of Stink. Old? Stink found Judy in her room, on her top bunk, making a picture of out of already being chewing gum. What's that? Stink asked. It's a Venus bright flight trap made of ABC gum, said Judy. You know what could be even cooler? A picture. What, Judy asked, a picture of Saturn made out of ABC gum. Who cares about Saturn? Me, but I not, now I have to care about eight other planets too. Huh? You, Judy looked up from her ABC gum art. There's a picture of Judy. And Stink. Stink held up his science book. I have a test tomorrow, a big fat test on the planets. Will you help me study no way stinker bell said judy can you see i'm way busy but you're so smart said stink buttering buttering her up that's not what you said when i had to get a math tutor but you've been to second grade right stink i've been to college see i need something super smart smarter than second grade i need somebody college smart to quiz me do i get to to boss you around Sure, said Stink. Do I get to yell hardy, hardy, hard, hard if you flunk? I'm not going to flunk, because, said Stink, because you, my super smart sir, sister, are going to help me. And he pushed the science book over to Judy. Judy flipped through the book. Name ni the nine planets. Too hard, said Stink. You have to be know the names of the planets. Miss D is going to ask that for sure. Think, Stink. Stink closed his eyes. Saturn, Jupiter, Earth, Pluto, and that one that comes before Pluto. Stink. Good thing you have me, your brainy big sister, to teach you. My very excellent mother just served us my feast. Feet. I thought that was making a spaghetti. No, Stink. That's how you remember the planets. The first letter of each word in the sentence stands for a planet mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus uranus neptune pluto my very excellent mother just served us nine pizzas said stink your very excellent father is just about to serve a spaghetti said dad coming into judy's room come on you two time for dinner I was just teaching Stink how to remember the planets, said Judy, like Ro Ro Roy G. Beeb, 
help you remember all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> and Mr. Todd sir, is called a moronic. I think the word is mnemonic. Said that. Who thought up that? Said Judy, some moron. Said Stink. He and Judy crept up all the way to the dinner table. My very excellent mother just said what the rhymes mean. Neck mnemonic comics. Mercury. Sun. On the bright side of Mercury, it's space melting. Eight hundred forty degrees. Don't forget your sunblock. SPF five thousand. On the dark side of the planet, it's minus seven seven uh two hundred seventy five degrees minus seven two hundred seventy five degrees. Mm, better pack your own underwear. Stink mnemonic comics. Venus. What is the stinkiest planet? Stinkeron. A. Stinkeron. B. Venus. C. Jupiter. The answer B. Venus. Blame it on hazy clouds of sulfuric acid. It's made like a giant rotten egg. P. U. So that's the first chapter. Like short, isn't it? So I think Megan McDonald. This is my first <laughs> Judy Moody book. Like a McDonald, I think she's a great author. Well, it's that what I heard. Uh, there's too many books of Judy Moody and Stinky Moody. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.